Bestbookbits.com brings you the book summary of The Fast Diet, Lose Weight, Stay Healthy, Live Longer by Dr. Michael Mosley. Is it possible to eat well most of the time and get slimmer and healthier as you do it? With The Fast Diet, it is. Dr. Mosley's Fast Diet has become the health phenomenon of our times, and for good reason. This radical approach to weight loss really is as simple as it sounds. You eat normally for five days a week, then for just two days, you cut your calorie intake, 600 for men, 500 for women. In his fully revised edition, Michael Mosley introduces the science behind the diet, with exciting new research into wider health benefits of intermittent fasting, including studies on asthma, eczema, and diabetes. Mimi Spencer, award-winning food and fashion writer, then explains how to incorporate fasting into your daily life with a wealth of new detail on the psychology and successful dieting. She presents a range of enticing new recipes along with an easy fast diet shopping list and a user-friendly calorie counter to help you sail through your fast days. Whether you're a committed faster or a new recruit to the fast diet, this revised edition is a must. On with the book summary. When you're young, you need to eat generous, healthy meals to grow properly. Yet as soon as you reach adulthood, you just don't need that much food. Still, we as a society eat far too much. This affects not only our collective waistlines, but also our overall health. Yet the solution to this is not another fussy diet plan. What we need to do is simply eat less. The connection between fasting regularly and living longer has been long proven. Yet, in this book summary, you'll learn about new evidence that shows the benefits of fasting in keeping diseases such as diabetes and Alzheimer's, as well as depression at bay. In this summary of The Fast Diet by Michael Mosley and Mimi Spencer, you'll discover why your body isn't made for the sort of foods you eat today, how fasting on occasion can drastically lengthen your life, and how you can prevent diabetes by learning how to fast. The Fast Diet Key Idea Number 1 Fasting is evolutionary more normal and healthy for us than eating three meals a day. The current medical advice for a healthy and happy life tells us that we should eat low-fat foods and exercise more. But does this sort of prescription work? Not really. Today, worldwide obesity rates are soaring. We are fatter and less healthy than we ever were. And cardiovascular diseases are among the top killers around the globe. How can we fix this? The solution is fasting, in particular intermittent fasting, which helps you alternate periods of eating normally and not eating at all. We've actually been switching between a state of feast or famine for millennia. Thus, our bodies respond extraordinarily well to intermittent fasting, as it mimics the environment in which we lived as we evolved as humans. So what are the benefits of intermittent fasting? Medical articles have shown that fasting can reduce oxidative damage and inflammation, can optimize energy metabolism, and can also increase cellular protection in the body. This means that fasting intermittently can help you reduce obesity, hypertension, asthma, and rheumatoid arthritis. Other research suggests, however, that frequently eating smaller portions of food increases the body's metabolic rate and therefore can help you lose weight. But is this really accurate? Researchers from the Institute for Clinical and Experimental Medicine in Prague, Czech Republic, found out that it isn't. In a study, two groups of type 2 diabetics consumed 1,700 calories, divided daily into either two meals or six meals. Although the amount of calories were the same for each group, the two-meal-a-day group lost an average of three pounds and about 1.5 inches more from their waist than did the group that ate six meals. The fast diet key idea number two, fasting decreases your probability of getting cancer and can potentially prolong your life. Fasting intermittently can be a useful way to keep disease at bay and scientific evidence to support this claim is growing. An article in the scientific journal of Nature states that while much research points to the benefits of fasting, the fundamental mechanisms behind why fasting works are not yet clear. One potential mechanism supporting the benefits of fasting may be the reduction in the amount of hormone IGF-1 or insulin-like growth factor 1 in your body when you fast. A reduction in this hormone can potentially lead to a decreased likelihood of developing cancer as well as an extended lifespan. The cells in your body 
naturally grow and reproduce as you take in energy in the form of food. Yet when you starve or fast, levels of IGF-1, which helps stimulate this growth, drop off, signaling a sort of warning to your body. When this happens, your body abandons its normal grow mode, instead going into repair mode, fixing cell damage and maintaining the status quo. Dr. Volta Longo of the University of Southern California's Longevity Institute explored this with mice that were genetically engineered to not produce IGF-1. He found that mice without IGF-1 lived twice as long as the mice with IGF-1 and also didn't develop diabetes or cancer. But what about humans? Longo expanded his research to study Ecuadorians with Laron syndrome, a genetic mutation that results in extremely low IGF-1 levels in the body. Interestingly, the individuals with Laron syndrome never developed diabetes or cancer. Longo ruled out environmental factors as an influential variable, as the test cases relatives who didn't have the Laron syndrome lived in the same village, and some of them did develop cancer. Longo's research suggests that while we may need increased levels of IGF-1 when we're young and developing, elevated levels later in life may lead to an accelerated aging or even cancer. The fast diet key idea number three. Fasting affects your brain chemistry, decreases the chances of developing a disease like Alzheimer's. Does becoming smarter and happier, enjoying a ripe old age, and escaping degenerative illnesses like Alzheimer's sound like the sort of life you want to live? If so, you might want to consider incorporating fasting into your routine. The human brain is a complex machine. Its adaptability and flexibility are remarkable, yet it's not invincible. Neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's seriously affect the life of not only the patient, but the patient's family too. Dr. Mark Matson, a professor of neuroscience at the National Institute of Aging, conducted a study to demonstrate how fasting affects the brains by genetically engineering mice to make them more vulnerable to Alzheimer's. When the mice consumed a normal diet by the age of one, equivalent to a middle-aged person, they started having problems with memory and learning, early signs of Alzheimer's. Yet when mice were put on an intermittent fasting diet, the onset of Alzheimer's was delayed for some 20 months, or until the mice was essentially as old as an 8-year-old person. The mice that were fasting showed an increase in protein known as brain-derived neurotropic factor. This protein stimulates stem cells to grow into new nerve cells in the brain's hippocampus, an area that is responsible for learning and memory. From an evolutionary standpoint, this chain of events is critical. When an organism is starving, it needs increased brain power to learn quickly how to find food to continue to survive. Interestingly, this same protein has been shown to produce antidepressant effects in rodents. In one experiment, researchers injected the protein into the brains of rats and found that it had an effect similar to the repeated use of standard antidepressant medication. So fasting can potentially not only make us smarter and delay the onset of diseases such as Alzheimer's, but also potentially make us happier. The fast diet key idea number four. Fasting intermittently helps the body regulate insulin levels, curbing diseases like diabetes. Worldwide, every seven seconds someone dies from diabetes. In 2014, a staggering 4.9 million people succumb to the disease. An effective way to reduce the number of deaths from diabetes is to adopt intermittent fasting into our lives. But first, let's take a look at how diabetes develops and how fasting can decrease the chances of developing this disease. When you consume a lot of carbohydrates, your blood glucose levels rise. To regulate your blood glucose, the body needs the hormone insulin. Insulin helps to extract glucose from the blood, transform it into glycogen, and store it in the liver or muscles as energy. Insulin also forces fat cells to absorb and store energy too, in the form of fat. Yet if your insulin levels become too high, your body holds onto fat more readily, and you gain weight. Over time, if your body produces more glucose, and therefore more insulin, your cells simply stop responding to the insulin. When this happens, your blood glucose levels remain high as your insulin regulator has just quit working. 
At this point, you become a diabetic, joining the ranks of some 371 million diabetes sufferers in the world. What's even more troubling is that when you develop diabetes, your chances of going blind, getting cancer, or having a stroke or heart attack rise too. Fasting can help your body regulate insulin as well as encourage it to work more efficiently. In a study conducted in 2005, eight healthy men were asked to fast every other day for 20 hours a day over a two-week period. On fasting days, they could only eat between 6 p.m. and 10 p.m. After the two weeks, the men's weight and fat levels remained the same, but their body's insulin sensitivity increased substantially. That means that the same amount of insulin worked much more efficiently in the body than it did before the period of fasting. Doctors have ascertained that when we fast, our body breaks down fat cells for energy. It sees fat cells that distract insulin from its job in regulating blood glucose levels. So fasting helps reduce fat cells and gives insulin the opportunity to work more efficiently. The fast diet, key idea number five. Fasting can help you better cope with inflammatory diseases such as asthma and eczema. Whether natural or synthetic, allergens are everywhere and often cause chronic inflammatory diseases such as asthma and eczema. Crucially, fasting may also help allergy sufferers. One in every 12 people in the United States struggles with asthma. For a total of almost 25 million people, while fasting hasn't been scientifically shown to be directly related to curbing inflammatory diseases like asthma, many asthma sufferers who have also fasted have reported an alleviation of symptoms as a result of their lifestyle change. One 44-year-old woman, for example, decided to fast to lose weight. Over the course of her fasting, she not only managed to shed 14 pounds, but her breathing also improved. Medical studies have also shown similar results. One study focused on the effects of fasting on obese asthmatics. In this experiment, 10 individuals were placed on a fasting diet for 8 weeks. On one day, the participants could eat what they pleased, yet the following day they had to reduce their caloric intake to 20% of normal. After 2 months, participants dropped an average of 18 pounds, even more surprisingly, Within just two weeks, many of the participants' asthma symptoms improved. The research suggests that the improvement was related to the significant drop during the period of proteins that caused inflammatory response in the body, such as tumor neurosis factor. As asthma is an inflammatory disease of the lungs, such a result from fasting is likely to be of benefit. Another inflammatory condition, eczema, affects some 10% of the US population. Again, while there is not yet scientific proof, fasting has been cited as helping to relieve the eczema symptoms of chronic sufferers. One woman had eczema patches all over her body with especially irritating patches between her fingers. After starting to fast, she reported that her eczema was somewhat improved and several patches had even disappeared. The fast diet key idea number six. The experience of author Michael Mosley shows that you too can fast and be healthier. In his book summary, we've examined the benefits of fasting. Now let's take a look at how fasting benefited the author of this book. Mosley's fasting journey began with a blood analysis and a weigh-in. He decided to follow a three-month, five to two intermittent fasting diet. This meant he would consume 600 calories on two days per week and would eat normally for the other five. After the three months, Mosley lost 19 pounds and his body mass index dropped from 26.4 to 24. The recommended norm is between 19 and 25. In essence, he was no longer overweight. He was also able to shrink his waist size from 36 to 33 inches. A blood analysis showed that his glucose levels had returned to within normal range. Before fasting, Mosley's blood glucose level was 7.3 millimoles per litre and post-fast, has it at 5 millimoles per liter. The recommended amount ranges from 3.9 to 5.8 millimoles per liter. With the fast, Mosley was on his way to avoiding diabetes. Mosley's IGF-1 level also plummeted from the upper limits of the recommended range to the bottom, thereby decreasing his chances of developing cancer and other age-related diseases. All great news, right? But how difficult is fasting? It turns out it's not tough at all. Eating just 600 calories on a fasting day means 
that you can still enjoy a breakfast and a light dinner. People who fast can also report that after the first few weeks of the 5-2 to two program, it does become easier. It also helps that your brain sometimes persuades you that you're hungry when you're not, such as during a social event, when you smell or see something tasty, or when you're emotional. Thus, staying calm helps you banish hunger pants. Fasters also say that walking, drinking tea, or taking a shower can help alleviate hunger pants. And of course, having a fasting buddy can make your experience a lot smoother. Final summary. The key message in this book. Fasting is far more natural than you might think, as humans have either feasted or fasted as a species has evolved. Not only does fasting help you lose weight, but it can dramatically delay the onset of dementia and help ward off common diseases like cancer and diabetes. Actionable advice. Save your brain, drop the junk food. An experiment showed that mice on a high-fat and high-fructose diet developed Alzheimer's disease earlier than did mice on a normal diet. All the more reason to opt for health food over junk food, even when you're rushing around during the week. And that's wrapping this book summary, The Fast Diet by Dr. Michael Mosley. If you want a copy of the PDF summary, click the link below and I'll send this straight to your email. We've done over 1,000 book summaries with Best Book Bits, so subscribe to the YouTube channel. Check us out on Spotify, Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, and the website bestbookbits.com. If you want me to summarize a book, please comment or drop me an email too. You can also find me on Instagram as well. Have a lovely day. Go out there and fast and get healthier. Take care. Bye-bye now.